Hey, what's up, funnel hackers? I just dropped my pen. <laughs> so how's it going, guys? Today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how we run this entire marketing scheme, this entire marketing strategy, specifically for consultants and coaches. So let's get this party started. So originally, what we did, and originally what we did is we tested it out between two different types of audience. We tested out between running ads to multiple different audiences. And we also tested out running these ads to a list. So what we did is we wanted to see which one was more cost effective. Going through this entire list, looking for uh, sending ads out to sports chiropractic, chiro business owners, to um, chiro sports chiropractic. I mean, there was a bunch of chiropractic ones. Uh, I have them over here, but it's not no worries. But you know what I mean. Testing out between multiple different audiences, sports chiropractic, chiro business owners, blah, 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 blah. And the list went on for a while. We originally tested a lot of them. And what we also tested was running it to a list. So what I did was I developed a huge, huge email list of around literally 14,000 chiropractors in the entire world. And what we did is we ran, we created first, we created a lookalike audience of 1% to those uh, chiropractors. And we tested out running ads to those people. So what we found is that initially running ads to just a list was actually a lot more cost effective than just going through this entire list, checking which one works, checking what ad works. So we found that to be a lot more cost effective. So what, now that we know that running ads to a list is actually more beneficial what we have to figure out is the ads and the ad copy that we're going to run so initially what we did was we created a, a, an excel sheet okay just so we can keep everything in track and we tested it out with multiple different ads we were testing out multiple different pictures what we how to test this out is we ran uh, we ran a reach campaign. So a reach campaign, well, the reason why I chose a reach campaign was because it was the cheapest, okay? It was definitely the cheapest. So we tested out between, um, we had five different pictures. Pick one, pick two, pick three, pick four, pick five. Simple. And I, and I worked with my consultant to create, we had four different copies for each one of them. So over here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we had four different copies for each picture. And now obviously you don't want, you obviously, you're going to want to use the cheapest method to figure out what converts the best. Okay. So that's why we use reach campaign. So we figured out, we honed it down to figure out what exactly works the best. And we came up with a campaign. I mean, a, with a, two of them. Um, let me find them really quick. I have, I have them over here. Oops. Okay, so what we found to convert the best was copy a copy called Death of Cairo and a copy called Pain. Um, so, Pain, Copy, and Death. Those are the ones that were converting the best. Those are the ones that were getting the most clicks and it was the best. And we found that out of these pictures, we had three pictures that did the best. And these three pictures that we found, I'm telling you everything, okay? I'm very transparent. And what we found was that out of these pictures, the best ones that were working was initially, I'll, I'll probably put up pictures like this, with two hands grabbing at each other through water. Another one was um, the chiropractor and, her wife, and his wife. And another one was the chiropractor and the dog. So I call this one hand pic. Um, wife, pick, and dog, pick, okay? So now we have pictures, I'll put this on the side. 
hand, wife, dog, copy, uh, pain, and death. So I have two, four, six. Overall, we have six combinations that we found worked really, really well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now we got the pictures, now we got the copy. Now we know what will work and what won't work because we are experimenting. So what we did was we set up a huge funnel. <laughs> so this funnel consisted of multiple different videos and three different landing pages. So let's break this down. So what we did is we had six of these different combinations going to our landing page. Our cause um, long L. L means landing page. So we're taking to a long landing page, okay? So um, I'll make this add, whoops. I'll make this add. Add, add, oops, and C, 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 boom, 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 boom. <laughs> As you can see, this is gonna get a little bit messy. What we also have my consultant do was I had him create an intro video. So this intro video was probably around two to three minutes long. It explained who this consultant is, why you should listen to him, and what he does. So, hey, I'm a consultant. You should listen to me because I had multiple, multiple seven-figure businesses. I sold them all. Now I'm working with one, two days a week. And um, I'm working one, two days a week, uh, working the five-hour work week. Um, and the benefits I can bring you is I know exactly how to transform a chiropractor business into a seven figure money printing machine. Something like that, okay? So what we also had was another video here. I call this the intro video. Mm, intro. And I had this intro video going to this landing page. The purpose of this landing page was to get a schedule. I hope you can read my chicken scratch. <laughs> but no worries, you can listen to me. <laughs> so, awesome, awesome, awesome. What we did was we created an audience based upon everybody that saw that first video. And that audience, what we did was made a 25% audience. Audience. So whoever saw 25% of that video, which which resulted in anywhere between 45 seconds to around a minute, um, was transferred over to the next video. Um, yeah, transferred over to the next video. Second, let me just draw this out real quick. Awesome. And what we did here, um, what we did here was let's say that somebody only saw 10, maybe a through play 15 seconds of the first video. Uh, we still brought them over to the first video again. To give them a second chance, pretty much, to watch another 25% of this video. So based upon the people that uh, watched the first video, but didn't watch 25%, and based upon the people in these ads, these 246 ads, that saw this landing page, these all these people that saw this landing page goes to this first video, okay, for these people again, because they didn't see around 25%. Uh, and for this for the ad copy because they didn't see the video originally. So we have these people going to the first video 
And what we do is we take them over once again to give them a second chance, pretty much, to the landing page. Long. Oops, let me just do. Ah. To. Oh, 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 oh. To the long landing page right there. Obviously, I'm, in this video, I'm not going to go over how to set up your pixel and stuff like that. I, I assume you guys already know how to do that stuff. I assume you guys already know the difference between big cap and all that stuff. But, um, so let's go. Let's continue. So, based upon the people that saw at least 25% of this video, uh, they go to the, to the second video. The second video was pretty much, um, for once again, a small, quick introduction hey this is the consultant again I'm glad you're watching this video um this is this is the benefits i'm going to bring you and this is how it's going to revolutionize your business so this would be the, the benefits this would be the benefit video and based upon the people that saw this first video once again uh, it's another 25 words well, already originally there, but we just pretty much gave him a second chance to watch a second the video because maybe the first time they didn't have enough time to watch that first video because maybe they're busy or something and just scrolling through. But we gave him a second chance to watch this video. And what we like to do, what we love to do, is these first videos, especially this second chance, this second chance video, we do on a lifetime budget. budget you're on a lifetime budget and schedule it so that the video only plays to people after work so times in between six and like 11 at night okay because chances are after 11 people are too tired to watch a video or or we bring it to six to like 12 but usually it's around 11 because people like that um they're already asleep by 11 12 that's people that are working they're already asleep so a lifetime between six to um, 11 p.m. So at night, okay? Make sense? Makes sense. Because we don't want to show this, because we're giving these people a second chance to watch this video. The reason why they didn't watch the original video, I mean, in the first place, is probably because either they were at work or maybe they were busy. So we try to show this video at a time that they're most readily available. And that is after work, okay? And make sure when you run this lifetime budget, when you're doing the scheduling, you you select the one that has um, 11 to, I mean, 6 to 11 on their time, okay? I'm pretty sure it's right above the map right there, but let's continue. So, goes to video two. So now with this video two, this one goes to a different type of landing page. Uh, short. L. Obviously, this goes to a schedule. That goes to a schedule. And the reason why we change up the landing page from a longer landing page to a shorter landing page is because we kind of want to change it up. We want to test to kind of see what works. In addition to that, they already saw the first landing page. They already saw the information. Chances are they already scrolled through it. Chances are they already read at least some of it, at least most of it, hopefully. But we're using a shorter landing page that pretty much gets to the point. So maybe it's gonna have either a picture or a video with a strong call to action that it's that the call to action is the headline of the second video, okay? So make sure that's important. It hurt posting conversions. So the headline of this this video, like uh, I'm pretty sure what we use here. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me give me an example. The headline of this video we did. Uh, chiropractic business owners looking to grow their business or another one we use uh, was a uh, chiropractic to dear chiropractic business business owners looking for freedom so that headline is gonna be the same headline we use in here okay so that when they go through they know it because it matches and it just it just helps trust me i don't this is i can go into deep deep into detail with that but we'll go later so for that second video they go to the short landing page Okay, and a short landing page once again it brings them over to a scheduling. And yes, awesome. 
Uh, in the short landing page, once again, it's very brief. It's going to show the chiropractor, maybe another intro video, maybe a picture showing the benefits and the proof concept. Like why this works for you and testimonials, okay? Simple. Because we don't want them scrolling the entire thing. They saw it already, okay? Awesome. Next, what we're going to do, um, and I'll, I'll make another video if you guys want on how to design these landing pages. But what we use here for this long landing page, the short landing page, and the next landing page is something called a tool called Funnel Copier. So shout out Funnel Copier for making, building funnels, cloning landing pages, super, super easy. It's the easiest and fastest way to clone any landing page. But let's continue into that, a little quick plug-in. <laughs> so what we're doing here, video number two, this video number two, bam, 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 bam. Once again, another 25% audience view. Over here. Oh, and another here. 25%. So what we do is another 25% to two videos. And once again, this goes to the landing page short. Uh, let's do that, yeah, sure. Goes to the short landing page. And in these videos, um, so the first intro video was an intro. Second one was a benefits. Third and fourth, wow, really short there. <laughs> I'm on my knees, by the way. But the third and fourth video is Pretty much, if they haven't scheduled from there, they need more proof. They need more proof of concept why you're an expert in the field and why you can truly transform their business. So in video three, three and four, three and four. <laughs> so in videos three and four is more proof of concept, more testimonials, more why this works for you, why why it's going to transform your business, why it's going to revolutionize your business. And this doesn't necessarily have to be the most um, high def, well, try to keep it high definition, but most of you have an, uh, a good phone to record them on, but they don't need to be the most intelligently scripted video. They don't need to be the most you don't need to have a $10,000 crew to record these videos because people, they're already interested. These people are already interested. They just need another reason to believe why this will work for them. So in video three and four, just knock something over my heater. <laughs> so in video three and four is more proof. So proof and testimonials. Proof and testimonials of why this works, why they should trust you, why you're an expert in the freaking field. <laughs> so those go over to a landing page short. Once again, obviously these landing pages, entire point of this is to get a schedule out of them. Um, from here, if they saw at least 25% of this or 25%, we usually do 25% at least the fourth video. We like to have it kind of going uh, from third video to fourth video to the next video. But it doesn't really matter exactly, okay? Because this one can go to here as well. This one can go to here. And this final video is what I call the offer. So now the offer is on... Wait, offer? Where are offer first? So now the offer is an, such an amazing offer that they have to be just dumb to take it off, to take it, to not take it, okay? The offer is usually going to be something like... Hey, I'm the consultant. I'm the best. This is why. <laughs> no, something like that. But realistically, the offer video is going to be, Hey, I saw you saw at least three of my videos. I see that you're interested in transforming your practice. Why not schedule a call with me? And even to make this undeniably the best offer ever, I'm willing to waive my entire initial setup fee for the first 30 days just to prove to you that this works because we are so confident that this works. I'm willing to take this off and I'm willing to do this for you because we just know that this works. Okay. Just offer once again, giving an undeniable crazy offer that just proves a point that we're just confident in what we do. And chances are, if they don't take up that offer, they're just educational viewers 
or chances are they don't take up that offer, they're just, they're just BSing around, okay? But this goes into um, a landing offer. Offer, yeah, offer page. So offer page. Awesome, awesome. And it takes them over to a, a separate landing page, it's an offer page. Once again, I just use my funnel copy tool to copy this page, get the same information in there, and um, just change around the headline, change around some of the pictures, change around the videos, just to make it an offer, an undeniable, amazing offer that they had a ridiculous time to take up. Okay? Um, so pretty much the offer page, once again, takes them to another scheduling. Um, and chances are, if they don't do that, if they don't schedule by then, I mean, I wouldn't even want to work with them, okay? They just saw videos, one, two, three, four, five videos. Um, obviously, you can keep on going with this. You can add multiple different videos, but this is just the overall concept of how we run ads for specifically for co coaches. And a lot of these videos, one, two, three, four, these videos, uh, one, two, three, four, we put them on reach campaigns because you find that's the cheapest. Whoops. <laughs> and the final one, we like to do a little conversion campaign. I mean, once again, it can probably be a traffic or a reach campaign, but we like to do a little conversion campaign at the end. And so that's pretty much how we run it. And at any point of here, what we also like to do is to go one step even further. Okay? So for like, let's say... Um, landing page long or a landing page short um we could also do as well is get our free master class or get our free booklet on how to transform your business just press type in your email okay and from then we send them over to an email campaign because maybe maybe this month they just don't want to do it but we put them into we usually do a week a weekly newsletter with everybody so that everybody in our newsletter uh by the way, not the big email newsletter that I just got, okay? Not that one. We send, we have a separate newsletter for the people that actually opted in but didn't convert, okay? The big newsletter, I mean, the big email that we had that we initially started with these, um, that we are sending the traffic to this, uh, that, big, that big email list, what I did was I just, I used a, uh, a tool that allowed me to... Um, Get the audience of a Facebook group or get the email, not necessarily extract the emails, but send my ads to a certain Facebook group. The benefit behind this is that you're able to find a specific Facebook group, let's say Chiropractors United or Chiropractor Business Owners. Let's say they have 10K in there. Chances are the people in that Chiropractor Business Owners, chances are those people are going to be chiropractic business owners. Not all of them are, because a lot of them are also marketers on the side or physical therapists, but he does work physical therapists. But chances are those, at least out of that 14K, at least 8K are chiropractors. That's also why we do a lookalike audience of 1% to also get the rest of them as well. And so, yeah, that's pretty much the overall strategy for uh, our consultants and coaches once again you can add more videos uh, a lot of these videos have to be split tested to see which one converts the best and this is a process obviously as you can see it's not just a one day thing one day just get it plug it in do it get conversions it takes some time you need to see which uh copy works the best all of these all these videos have different copies Okay, and the easiest way to test these different copies is to do a reach campaign or a traffic campaign. They're not much, well, they are different, but they're not much different in cost. I find a reacher would be a little cheaper, but we split test, we split test, we split test. And the copies, what I found is that the targeting of the initial list uh, is the easiest, but what I found is that if this isn't converting for you, it's because of the copy or the offer is not correct. So make sure your offer is correct. And the best way to find that out is to find out what people want. So what my consultant did 
was he created a before he even created this his entire uh, course before he even started consulting he created a huge facebook group currently it has like 570 members and he would constantly engage with them what he would do is ask him straight up yo chiropractor business owners what do you want what do you want to see in a course what would help you fix your business and that and his past experience based upon what has made his previous businesses businesses successful he kind of connect the dots and he figured out what works and what chiropractors need come in combination with what they want because chances are what they want is not always necessarily what they need but to give them results and get good testimonials back he finds out what they want finds out what they need and then combine the two so Thank you all you funnel actors for watching this video. I hope you learned at least one thing today. I hope this really helped. And keep on hacking. Peace out, guys.